Welcome to the new version of eSchool Plus. This year, the Salinas Union High School District is rolling out eSchool Plus 3.1, which is an upgrade from the current version of 2.4. You can see right away on the login screen things have changed. Um, the colors will change. Col colors have changed a little bit, and as we get further into it, you're going to see some even uh, some even bigger changes. And these are there's a lot of changes here that are for the better. It's going to make your workflow and your ability to take attendance and do grades better and more efficient and faster. So first is uh, the login screen, of course, and your username is just your first name dot your last name, and then your current Windows password, and then you'll click login. And once I'm in, once you're into eSchool Plus, you're going to see like it looks different and uh, it looks simpler. Although maybe it's not simpler now because it's you're you're looking at it for the first time, but the interface is simpler. There's less text on it. Uh, looking at the screen in in general, you can see you've got a window in the middle for your classes or a table. And then if you scroll down the page, uh, you've got some some news news items and then reports and reports that pertain to your particular class will appear there. Then if we scroll back up to the top and we look back up the top, you can see it's named the Teacher Access Center. Again, we have the Teacher Access Center and the Home Access Center in eSchool Plus. Then you're going to see your name in the top left corner. Notice you have a drop-down menu here that will allow you to access your settings. Uh, there's a place here for notifications, tools, and if we keep going, you can see that this pattern of when you hover over some of these items, there is a drop down menu that appears. So just be aware of that. And then notice the home screen. The home screen drops you into where you can take attendance. Now, most likely, um, I've already visited this page. Most likely, when you show up uh, for the first time, it's going to show all your classes. And so you're going to see a lot more. It's going to show all your fall and spring classes, perhaps. Um, a way to simplify that is by clicking on uh, Current RC Run, which is just View Current RC Run, which means Current Report Card Run. So I'm going to click on that. And now, um, if I want to take attendance, and I want to take it quickly, let's say all my students in my first period class were there, I could just click on this white, uh, this icon that looks like a white piece of paper with the red check marks. Notice I've already done it for the zero period class here. And I could click on that and then that would mark everybody present. Now let's say in my second period class that uh, not everybody was present, that there was a couple of students, there's one student that was tardy and one student that was absent, I could click on the chair. And now I could go in and let's say this student was absent, I could click on like, like you're used to, like you've seen with the current version of eSchool and I could just click on the tardy as well over here. Now if I wanted to change that I could click on that or click off of that and click off of that and then that would be fine as well. Okay, notice it says there are unsaved changes. If I want to save the changes I make to my uh, to my attendance book I can click on this icon over here, that icon of the floppy disk that indicates a save. So I'll click on that. Okay, so really nothing really substantial has changed with how you take attendance with eSchool other than the, the icons. Uh, some things I do want to show you though, um, and this is where we really begin to in, get into some important changes, are underneath the settings. So if I scroll over my name in the top right corner and then I click on settings, you can see I get this settings, this set of, this settings interface that shows up. And there's some things up here that I'm just going to leave and I, I won't dwell on them now. One setting I do want to go over is the appearance. If you want to customize your appearance of eSchool Plus, you can definitely do that. Notice you can put a background solid or you can do a background wallpaper. So I'll do that now. I'll choose a, you can see I changed the set, I can change, I changed the appearance to this light blue color. And then there's some other, there's some more customizing that's going on down here as well. Notice there's, uh, you can do list view attendance or photo view. Photo view if you've set up your seating charts. This is a really nice feature that um, will make a lot of people's grading more, perhaps more efficient. Um, and that is changing the order of how grades appear in your gradebook. Notice right now it's set to ascending by due date, which means it appears as it currently does in the current version of, of eSchool Plus. In other words, um, as, as you do more assignments and the, and the date grows, the date gets to a, a more recent date, the, the assignment moves out. If, 
Um, one great feature about this new grade book is that you can send it to descending by due date. So notice I just did that here. And what that's going to do is that's going to make the most recent assignments, the ones I most recently did, the ones that are later in the calendar, appear closest to the student name. So what this looks like is if I go to a grade book, so let me go to a grade book for this particular class, and I'm looking at this grade book right here, notice the date. Um, this, ha this, ha this happens to be a copy of, um, of a grade book from late April. Notice that late, there's April 24th, April 24th, and then April 16th, April 10th, April 10th, March 27th, and so on. So this, this is descending. In other words, the assignments are going down, and which means it's going to be your most recent assignment is going to appear closest to the name. So that's a nice change. So let's go back to settings. And another one uh, that you'll want to check, yours is probably set right now to manual save with periodic saves every zero minutes. Uh, to me, it makes sense to have it auto save. So auto save upon entry. OK, so that was just a quick recap of how to get started with eSchool Plus. We've gone over the settings. We've also gone, gone over the basic interface of what the new version looks like and, and logging in, of course. So the next, the next videos we're going, are going to cover how to, how to add grades, how to copy grades, and hopefully you'll see some, um, some of the great changes that have been made in this new version.